Hi, today we're going to talk about money pet peeves and I will be sharing with you my biggest one. This is MoneyWise with Rena Hicks where we create, grow and preserve wealth. So my biggest pet peeve is when somebody walks up to me, whether at work or in the kind of space that I am in and says, can I just give you my money? and you decide what you want to invest in and just make money for me. Or, uh, please tell me where I can invest and not have to worry about thinking through the decisions and someone else is equipped to be able to do it. I mean, that thing just drives me up the wall because the truth of the matter is there is no person on this planet, I don't care where they're from or what degree they have or what kind of experience they have, that is going to make you rich. Nobody. You have to take responsibility for you becoming rich and you attaining the different goals that you have. I swear it makes me mad. Let me tell you why. I have my own responsibilities, I have things that I want to do and I want to achieve. My goal in life is not to make you rich. There you go. That's my biggest pet peeve. Now, let me tell you a story related to my biggest pet peeve. A friend of mine came to me and said, I have a challenge because I walked up to another lady who worked at a certain brokerage house and I gave her money and she promised to make money for me. And so now this lady, I don't know how to get a hold of her. I have no idea what's happening with my shares. It's been two years two years since I communicated with her. I mean, what the heck? How do you stay two years without knowing what your money is doing? Like, how does that... Sorry, I'm getting carried away. But yeah, it had been two years since she knew what her money had been doing for her. Anyway, so I got involved and I ended up finding out that this other lady who she had given her money to had gone ahead and done trades, just buying and selling of whatever security she could. For what purpose? to earn an agency commission. In the meantime, my friend had lost 70% of the amount of money that she had put in. Yes, 70%. It was just insane. And when she found out, she almost had a heart attack. She was totally upset. Because now, what could she do about it? The lady had disappeared. Yes, she could get her shares, which were some terrible investment, uh, in, as far as I'm concerned, and she had lost money. So my point is this. If you decide to choose whoever, broker, agent, money manager, you must keep tabs with what is going on with your money. You have to check your accounts, even if it's a bank account that you have with whatever bank. You need to check that the transactions that they pass through those accounts are real transactions that took place. You need to check the balances on your accounts are real balances and nobody has passed in, yeah it happens, nobody has passed some transaction that is fake or charged you a fee that is incorrect. Because I promise you, nobody on this planet is gonna make you rich or take responsibility for making you wealthy. So please, let us stop asking others to help us become wealthy and take responsibility for creating our own wealth. Is that okay guys? Now I want you to give me your money pet peeves. Write to me, subscribe for more videos, but write to me and tell me what your biggest pet peeves are where money is concerned. This is Money Wise with Rena Hicks where we create, grow and preserve wealth.